Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is gonna be about my second baby. My son was supposed to be due on April 15th of this year and my caretaker did give me an additional week to give my body a chance to do what he was supposed to do. He, she tentatively scheduled him in for C-section on the 21st, a week after his due date. The reason why she did that was because I had originally requested that I would like to try VBAC and with my first, I had a C-section. So this was my trial, going, trying to go back to natural the vaginal way. I called my labor and delivery unit. I told them that I wasn't feeling well. The contractions were very close according to my app. My app did advise me to contact the caregiver and notify them or actually go in to be checked into the hospital. So I contacted the labor and delivery unit. It was around 1.30 in the morning. The lady over the phone just notified me. He's like, okay, you can come in, we'll check you. And if all goes well, we'll go from there and we'll keep you. If not, then you would have to go back home. So I contacted my sister that same night. So she came by to stay with my daughter. Me and my husband, we decided to leave and head for the hospital. I finally got in there and they had me strapped up to all that stuff they usually strap us into. They were checking the baby and I was lying there as well. When they were monitoring me, the lady came back, the nurse came back to me and notified me that within a short span of time, the baby's heart rate dropped four times. And I was like, okay, so what do we go from here? So she just told me, okay, because you are not dilated at all, we'd have to send you back home. But with the concern with the baby's heart rate dropping four times, what she recommended was to have a follow-up and come back the day after in the morning and they're going to do a, a procedural check, a small test for the baby to see how the baby's doing. I went back home. When I came back on a Monday, it was around 11 o'clock, came in again, still was feeling the contractions and so forth. Nothing has changed. My app kept telling me the same thing. I actually thought there was something wrong with my app because this was my first time my body was actually feeling the contraction with my daughter. So I never got a chance to experience any of this. I got there around 11 o'clock, checked in, they got me there hooked up again. And within like 30 minutes after that, you know, I was still like, like the contractions were really killing me, same way. And the nurse checked me again. It just so happened to be the same nurse that worked the night before. She was like, oh yeah, I went home. I was thinking about you. She was checking the baby's heart rate. She did not notify me uh, right off the bat that the baby's heart rate was dropping again. She, what she did was she called the ha the doctor that was um on the unit actually she called the doctor to come before the doctor got there my water broke i was already lying there hooked up to uh the, the the baby heart rate monitor and so forth my water broke and i just told my husband call the nurse the nurse came in she looked at the water and the water was like green oh. and it had like a lot of uh, stuff inside of it. She was a little bit concerned about that because I went over my due date. Keep in mind my due date was April 15th and this was already a Monday, so the 19th. And I was scheduled for a C-section on the 21st. And by the time the doctor came downstairs, I was six centimeters dilated. What she did was she gave me two options there. She told me, okay, what I can let you do is let you labor for the remaining time because you're six centimeters, you know, from six to 10, there's not that much more room left, you know, do you want to wait it out? The other option is I can go through with a C-section this time. The reason why she put the C-section option on the table right away at that very moment, because of the concern that of the color of the water and the baby being a little bit overdue, which was uh, the date was April 15th, she recommended having a C-section. But both options were on the table for me at that very moment. The reason why I opted for a C-section, she, she also advised me there was that the longer that he stays in there, there might be some complication there with lungs. So I decided I was like, you know what? I was contracting, it, I've been contracting for more than two days now. It was a little bit difficult on my body. And at first, when I first came in, I wasn't even dilated. The fact that that changed, that turned around time already, that was amazing for me. It was a hard decision, but an easy one at the same time. I did not want the baby to go wait out that last four centimeters 
and go through the difficulties that he was gonna go through after that with the lungs. I just didn't wanna deal with it. So I said to myself, this is an easy decision for me. Need to take one for the team. I'll do another C-section so that my baby is healthy, comes out, no additional stress. I did the best that I could. I waited it out. I attempted V back. Everything was going good. I was the best candidate for it. Everything was going good. My doctor gave me an additional week to allow my body to do what it's supposed to do. That's another thing. You need to find yourself a, a provider that is specialized in the field. If you are going to be attempting VBAC, somebody that's going to support your decision and give you that time to allow your body to do that. This, even though it was my second baby, my body is actually recognizing it as the first because I am attempting things the natural way. Like I said before, that I, my body was never given the option, the, the chance to do even labor the first time around. So, which was very special. So I can say that I had a chance to experience labor, you know, and, and get to that point. So I would say, even though I did not have a VBAC, I believe that it was a successful attempt related. And with the C-section itself, it went by very smoothly. The doctor was a very professional doctor. The team that was working together this time around was just amazing. It was a different hospital, a different uh, uh, OB this time from the first time that I had my daughter. Thanks guys, bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment below and hit that thumbs up.